Here's a story. It's from the fucking jungle. In a tribe of monkeys, the dominant male has a harem of women that he fucks. Around the edges of his tribe hangs out sub-males that don't have access to those females, okay? And every once in a while, when the man is fucking one of the girls, these other monkeys position themselves on top of a hill. It's part of their strategy. They target the females with the babies, run full speed down the hill, grab the baby, smash the baby, oh god, dead baby, on the ground and run away. When the male comes back, oops, too late. You wanna know what happens every time? A few days later, the female whose baby was killed leaves the tribe, finds the guy who killed her baby, and mates with him. So if you're ever gonna destroy another guy, that's how you have to do it at the most basic gene level. You gotta use your speed and your intelligence, <clears throat> and you gotta wear your fucking cape. Hey guys, how are you all today? I feel like socks. What? Also, I like them. Oh, thanks. My partner got them for me for my birthday. Just a reminder that this is a trigger zone. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Great, well, let's just jump right into discussion. I wanted to talk about perceptions of biological inferiority and how those play into identity. I'm curious to hear from you, how, how do you think or how do you see the involuntarily celibate community to be unfit for sex or love, you know, in terms of genetics? Poor bone structure. Yeah, uh, weak jaw. Baldness. One groupy eye. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. The bottom 20% of the gene pool that will never be able to mate. I like what? What are we, cavemen? Monkeys. No, we've evolved. I lost the genetic lottery and not even a monkey will mate me. Honestly though, have you tried? I mean, I don't think that's accurate. You guys. So. He mated with Julia Roberts. <laughs> charisma. Yeah, he's got charisma. What? Well, you guys, I, I don't judge you for your lack of charisma or bone structure. Well, you're not gonna have sex with us. No, I am not, because I am gay. We've been over this, Kelsey. That's not the only reason. Clem, look, everyone, actually, I'm getting a lot of defensiveness right now. Felt like an attack? Yeah, I got that. I got that, too. Okay, just so you know, I am not an attacker. I was one of you. Just got better. If anything, I'm living proof that the loneliness doesn't have to take up permanent residence. When you live in a slum body like this, that's all that'll live there. <sighs> True, Dad. All right, let's refocus on homework. O for O, four for eight. Okay. Okay. Uh, five O, uh, ten five. One O, two O. Two zero, twelve ten. And Kelsey? Goal is one, achieved one. You achieved one? Great. That's, wait, you Gave achieved or you me. attempted? Attempted. Still? That's different. That's different. What does that look like? I, uh, complimented a grocery clerk. She ignored me. No, it's okay. Maybe she didn't hear you. No, he got reverse raped. What? No, he did not. The result is irrelevant. It's about making contact, right, Kelsey? You all could follow Kelsey's example. Guys, step it up on the attempts this week, okay? Except for you, Richard. Not yet. Otherwise, I like what I'm hearing today from most of you. I hear openness, honesty, vulnerability more so than before. Except you, Dame. What is wrong? I think that you're ready. I have a surprise for you. Because <laughs> I just got my certificate in art therapy last Friday. What? So everyone well, get up. No. Now relax, I'm, I'm, you're safe. No, I mean, I think we should have been like warned ahead of time. Like, this is like not cool. Just wait. I don't know. Uh, this is Rachel. She's agreed to be your subject. Subject, not object, gentlemen. Yeah, you can do this. <gasps> Damien, it's not time for our bathroom break. Try it. I know you can do this. Change. <sighs> Wonderful work. Wonderful work. Oh, interesting. Change. <laughs> <laughs> you little guy. Real artist right here. Change. <laughs> Wow, you have an amazing eye. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me?
<laughs> Rachel. Rachel. Do you need a glass of water? Get away from me, you bitch! Rachel. I'm not. You're Rachel! My bitch, she heavy metal. She got the sass on my saddle. She cooked the gas in the kettle. Damn, I love your makeup. And the way your pussy pink make me get up. And I told him I'm a redder. For your hand, I'll never settle. Put the gas to the metal. Oh, I knew that she's special. Put the gas to the pedal. Diamonds on my vessel. Running through my treasure. She's special. I don't need her mental. No. <laughs> She done a ride.